Hello children, good morning. How are you? Are you studying well or playing all the time video games and watching movies? No, no, please don't do that. Be serious with your study, children. Now, do you remember yesterday what we have learned? Yesterday, I am explaining to you two experiments. One is chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. What's the other one? Yes, water is essential for photosynthesis. Now we'll see the third one that is sunlight is very essential for photosynthesis. Now what do you need for this experiment? There are a few things that are, that are very essential for this experiment. I'll let you know. You need a potted plant, a potted plant, a black strip of paper. Then you need a beaker, a tripod stand, a Bunsen burner, course water in the beaker and you need a test tube. Now what's a test tube like? That is test tube and then you need ethyl alcohol, you need iodine, a white tile, a dropper. So these are all the things that you need children. Now let's get started with the experiment. Now take a potted plant. What do you need children? A potted plant. Uh, uh, now this potted plant, you have to de-starch the leaves of this plant. Now how to de-starch children? What's the mean of de-starching? De-starching means removing the starch out of the leaves. What's de-starching children? Removing the starch out of the leaves. Now, for this, you need to put the plant in a dark room for two to three days. When you put the plant in the dark room for two days, what happens? The plant can, cannot prepare any food since there is no sunlight. So, the leaves will not have any starch in them. So, that is called destarching the plant. Now, before putting the potted plant in the sunlight, you need to do one thing. What's that? I'll tell you. See, take one of the leaves. Suppose if this is the leaf. To this leaf, you attach a black strip of paper on both the sides. What do you need to do, children? Attach a black uh, chart paper. A black chart paper you apply on both the sides in the middle. Okay. Don't pluck out this leaf children. Let it remain to the plant. You just have to attach a black strip of paper on this side as well as the other side. On both the sides just attach it and then put it in the sunlight for how many hours? At least 4 to 6 hours. Then after 4 to 6 hours now you pluck out this leaf. Now pluck out this leaf. Remove the black paper, chart paper on both the sides. Now put the sleeve in water. In boiling water. Let it boil for 10 minutes. Now let the leaf boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, Remove the leaf out of the boiling water and then you put it in a test tube containing ethyl alcohol or you can also call it ethanol. Put it in a test tube and that test tube put it in the beaker. Now here is the test tube. In this test tube, what is that given? Ethyl alcohol. We have put ethanol in this test tube. And the leaf which you have boiled, that leaf, you put it here. So, you are boiling the leaf in ethanol indirectly. You should never put this test tube directly on the fire. As I told you yesterday, ethanol catches fire. So 
So we are heating it indirectly. When you boil the leaf in ethanol indirectly, what happens? All the chlorophyll gets dissolved. It gets dissolved. Now what happens to the color of the leaf? Tell me children, into which color does it turn? Yes, it turns into white color. The green leaf turns into white color since all the chlorophyll has dissolved. Now, take out the leaf with the help of a forceps and wash it in running water. Take out the leaf from the test tube with the help of a forceps and then wash it in running water and then put it on a white tile. Now put it on a white tile. Next what you have to do. Yesterday I taught you children. Oh, the procedure is the same for uh, chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. That experiment and sunlight is necessary for ex photosynthesis. For both the experiments, uh, almost half the process is the same. Okay. Now see here. What did you do? You put the green, uh, I mean the leaf which has turned white in color on the white tile. Next, you have to pour on the leaf few drops of iodine. What do you need to pour children? Iodine. Just pour a few drops of iodine on this leaf. Then tell me into which color does it turn if it has starch. Now, if the leaf has prepared starch, it should turn into blue black color. Now tell me children. Now use your common sense and tell me. Does the whole leaf turn blue black in color? Does the whole leaf turn blue black in color? No. Only this part and this part turn blue black in color. Now what about this part? The middle part remains white in color since it has not prepared uh, starch. Why didn't it prepare starch? Because because it did not receive any sunlight. So just once again I am repeating. Just listen. So what do you need for this experiment? Just take a potted plant. Put it in the dark room for 2-3 days. And then or the leaves will not have any starch in it. In them. And then before putting in the sunlight. Attach a black strip of paper on the middle of one of the leaves. Then, after 4 or 6 hours, just pluck out one of the leaves and boil it in water. After boiling, just put it in a test tube containing alcohol, ethyl alcohol, and then heat it indirectly. When you do that, chlorophyll gets dissolved and it turns white in color. And then, take out the leaf from the test tube, wash it in water, and then put it on a white tile. Then pour a few drops of few drops of iodine on it. Then when you pour, what happens? This part and this part turns blue black in color, whereas this part will remain white in color. The middle part remains white in color since it did not receive any sunlight. Now this experiment proves that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis. Now the last topic in this lesson is replenishing nutrients in the soil. Replenishing nutrients in the soil. Children, after taking food, sometimes we take multivitamin tablets, right? Why do we take multivitamin tablets? We feel that our food does not contain enough vitamins and minerals. That's the reason why we take multivitamin tablets. So, in the same way, plants also need a variety of minerals. See, the farmers, they keep continuously growing so many different crops in their fields. So, what happens now the soil? In the soil, the mineral content will be uh, reducing all the time. That's the reason why we need to provide manure or fertilizer to the plants. Okay, children? So what are these minerals? Minerals in the sense plants need so many minerals.
minerals like uh, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, then magnesium. So plants need all these kinds of minerals. Not only these, then many other nutrients are there. Now the plants have to take all of them from the soil, right? Now see, for photosynthesis, we require four things. Carbon dioxide, water, sunlight, and chlorophyll. Now, not only these four things, children, the plants also require minerals which it has to absorb from the soil. So, the farmers, they keep on providing manure or fertilizer. Manure is something organic, natural. And fertilizer is man-made. They buy it from the market and they provide it to their plants. Okay, children? In order to increase the soil fertility season, we can also grow leguminous plants in the field. Like we can, like suppose for this season, if we have a grown paddy or rice in our field, for the next season we can grow any leguminous plants like a green gram or black gram. What happens when we do this? It will increase the soil fertility. I told you in the root nodules of these plants, there lives a bacteria. What is that children? Do you remember? It is rhizobium. This rhizobium has a special capacity of bringing the nitrogen of the air into the soil. So in this way, what happens? The nitrogen content in the soil improves. It makes the soil fertile. So you can alternate the crops with leguminous plants by growing leguminous plants. This is also a way of increasing the soil fertility. Okay, children. So, this is all we have learned in this lesson. So, let me quickly give you a recap of what I taught in this lesson, children. So, initially we have learned the various types of nutrition, autotrophic and heterotrophic. Next, we have learned what are essential for photosynthesis. For photosynthesis, we need sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, chlorophyll. And I also taught you about the tiny pores present in the leaf, tomato, how they open, how they close. And then I taught you how, uh, I taught you three experiments, like sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis, chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis, and water is essential for photosynthesis. And last one is this, replenishing nutrients in the soil. Children, with this, we have finished our first lesson, Nutrition in Plants. I hope you are all learning the answers, children. Did you complete your notes? And quickly, we are going to have a, very shortly, after, I mean, maybe after two or three days, we are going to have a test in this first lesson. So, keep yourselves prepared, children. And I'll let you know about the day tomorrow. That's all for now, children. Bye-bye. Have a nice time. God bless you.